Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today I am bringing you another tutorial where we're gonna repurpose packaging. Um, I have a lot of packaging to repurpose and I love it when I create something new from something that you may throw out on your garbage. So today we're gonna repurpose. I have all this from my embossing folders. Um, so I'm gonna repurpose one of this. And also, um, this is the piece that I cut from the one that we're gonna repurpose, but I'm gonna hold on to these pieces because I'm thinking to create some alter paper clip cluster or something like that with this. So stay tuned for that video. And we also gonna repurpose this. This was, um, I got my, uh, a charger for my phone um, the other day at Ross. So um, I'm gonna repurpose this. And what I did, I cut the flaps um, around it. I, I kept this one, but I cut the other ones around it. And we're gonna create like a flip book with this. And this is the piece for the other packaging that we're gonna repurpose. And let me show you what we're gonna use to create this. This beautiful paper pad that my daughter um, gave me um, the other day that we went out and she was so kind to give me these two paper pads. I did a, a project with this. Um, if you haven't checked it out, go out and check it out. It's a triple pocket um, insert is the name of the project. And look at this one, the one that we're gonna use right now, the Magical Thinking, she bought it for me. Look how pretty this paper pad is. I love the colors, like soft, and then we have black, pink, like light, light lavender, yellows. Look how pretty it is. This is the paper pad that we're gonna be using. Um, we got this at Michael's. And they were buy one a regular price, which is $9.99, and the second pad was half off. So she was so kind. I, I love her so much. She buy me this. So I couldn't wait on, on you know, to new projects. So let me show you. I have this trim here, and I have some journaling cards that these two, three came in the pad, and I just created these two with some of the paper that we're gonna be using to cover this. And I created also a tag. I didn't add any line paper in the back because I will do that later on. I always like to add something in the back too. So it ha there's more like journaling space. So this is what we're gonna add to our project when it's done, when it's done. I also have these flowers that I got a Hobby Lobby, they were $5.99, but um, they were 50% off. I don't know still if I'm gonna use them, but I have it here just in case. Cause sometimes I say that I'm gonna use something and then I change my mind. So I didn't measure anything, um, but if you want measurements, let get measurements here. Just a second, let me get my, um, my color, my old one that have all the one eighth of an inch measurements just in case. Um, this is my old one. I had to buy the, um, the how do you call it, the knife, um, the blade, the blade. And that's why I don't use this one. But my packaging is 10 and three quarters. So remember that you can cut a piece of cardstock or you know like a heavy cardstock or cardstock you can use also use a um, file folder cereal box any box that you have at home so you're gonna cut it it's gonna be 10 and three quarters by six and i have a spine here but i'm not gonna use it you see this was like this it was a box, but you don't, um, we're not gonna score anything. So you need 10 and three quarter by six. That's the measurement of this. My other packaging, I cut it six by 
four and one quarter. And that's gonna be a, a flap. And I will give you measurements of all the other pieces while we work. So I'm just gonna put this aside and have it handy here. Um, but let's start on um, constructing, uh, creating our base. This flap is gonna go here up like this. So I'm just gonna use my, um, how you call it, my masking tape to create this flap before we um, cover everything with our paper. And I'm just gonna leave a little um, space in between the two packagings so I can flip it over. I moved it. My packaging, it looked like I didn't did a good job cutting it. It's not straight at all, but uh, it always happened that with me. So let's see if I can put that there without moving it. And we're gonna reinforce it with some of the masking tape in the back too. So I love repurposing packaging. I, I, I'm pretty sure you already noticed that. But you know, it's the, it's the beauty of taking something that you're gonna throw away and create something new. I love that. So it's gonna be like this. I didn't go all the way here. This was larger. You see? It was a little bit larger and I had this here that I was going to create a pocket, but I didn't want to make something too bulky. And then I just wanted the flap like going down here with this panel. And so this is our base. And I was thinking to put one in the back and do it this way, but I'm just going to do one flap here. And... I was also thinking to do one here going this way, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Something simple. And we're going to have two pockets. So I have one here. We're going to have two pockets and three belly bands. This is one, two. Let me see where's my other one. And the third one. So um, while we do this, I will give you measurements because I didn't measure anything. So on this window here, I'm gonna use this paper. I, I just got it from the pad and add this that say bloom. So this is gonna go here, let me show you. Right, right there. So that's, this is gonna be in our window. I also cut this already. And what I did, I just remove this here so I can measure everything. Cause you know, like I trace everything. I didn't measure anything. But um, if you wanna create your window, just do it the size that you want. Um, if you wanna create a window here. Um, and then you can cover this. You know, with acetate, our, um, let me give you ideas. You know this, your, if you don't have acetate, um, your um, stickers, some of stickers and some of the uh, pads um, stamp, that's what I'm trying to, <laughs> comes with a, a clear film on top. This one is right here. Um, also stickers, there's some stickers that bring that. You can also use like a plastic from something, a clear plastic from any packaging. Or, um, or maybe you can just leave the window open and not use the plastic. You can also do, do that too. I have projects that I had done like that without, you know, adding any plastic here. So, you know, don't, don't um, stop yourself from creating if you don't have something like this just use your imagination and just create so we're gonna start by adding this my um my image for my window <coughs> excuse me so i'm just gonna 
go around with my glue and I'm just gonna use my fast grab tacky glue and um, this is from Aline's and I got it uh, Hobby Lobby for $2.99 that's the glue that we're gonna I'm gonna be using so I'm just gonna go around this let me make sure I wanna see because I think I had to go down here so my image yeah so I think let me just a second let me measure this here because I want my balloon to show Use my pencil here just to mark out to where I'm gonna add my glue, and I'm gonna cover this in the back too. So, see if I can see my line. No, wait. Let me use my marker. Just I just want to make a little line here so I know where up to where I'm gonna add my glue. I'm just gonna be careful not to add too much glue. And I was gonna do this with my um glue gun but you know it gets dry quicker so okay let me just close my glue while we work on this sure you see how pretty i love this paper i usually don't like things um like with moons and stars and things like that and this paper press has some moons it has um stars and some you know i'm christian so i don't do the like the zodiac anymore and all that stuff like the horoscope but this paper was given to me and it has a lot of images that I can still use. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. So look how pretty, it's already looking pretty and we are not even done. Okay, so let's start covering everything. So I'm gonna cover this with this black paper here because my this one this book is gonna go here look how pretty so let's start I'm gonna start covering this one where's my glue I put it back let me grab my glue okay I hope that you can create something with me I give you a measurement go and get that zero box out or a file folder or something just got Cut it to the size or you can even do it any size that you want it don't have to be this a specific size so i just give you a measurement because sometimes people want to recreate as you know using the sack measurements but you can create it any size that you want it don't have to be my measurements just give you the measurements just for references but You can do any size that you want. You can do a smaller, you can go larger than mine. And then here on my spine, I'm gonna use this one. And you know what? I didn't give you measurements, but I will right now, just a second. 
It's not gonna be a spine. Well, my spine. Let, wait, let me move this because I wanna be able to close it. Little, little space in between. And then I will trim it. Let me get my ruler. this one a little bit because this is the one that I have to open and close so I want to make sure yes so I'm just gonna trim this here and let me get my ruler so I can you know give you a measurement for the panels just in case that you want to do the same measurements I was gonna use my ruler, but let's use this just in case. Okay, so this is five and three eight by I think it's six, right? That's the measurement I give you. Yeah, so it's six by five and three eight, and then this piece here, just in case you want to do it the same way, is. one inch then this one is four and three eighths by six four four and three eight by six this one here so this just want to make sure because that is glue all the way that's good enough Well, just use your own measurements if you want to, depending on what size you want to make this. And I distress my edges using, well, not all of them because this is black, but I use my stampability ink pad and the color is light pink. It was $4.99 at Hobby Lobby, but I'm pretty sure I got it with 40% off. No, this one was in clearance for $1.49 now that I remember. So I'm gonna distress these edges here. So for this one, I'm gonna use this one here. Or, see if I wanna, because this one I wanted to do different, but you know, I, 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 I don't even know why I cut this, if I use this one, but that's fine. It's just that I was thinking to use this one and then, but I don't like it that much. Do I want it black? Let's see if I want it black. And maybe this panel. Yeah, I gotta do that one black. This one, I like it better. Glue this. I just trace everything. I didn't measure anything. Trace around, and that was it. gonna trim this here I didn't move this before but that's fine because I had this gap here but I 
Let me distress. Stress my tape here so when this is a light pink, so you can hardly see it, but <coughs> okay. Okay, so here I'm gonna use one of my belly bands. I think I'm gonna use this one. I like this one, so it will go with this. And we're gonna add our pocket here. So let's do that. I already, already add the um, double-sided tape. I'm using my one eighth of an inch double-sided tape on, on the belly band. This is gonna go up, so I wanna make sure that if I have extra on the top, I can trim it. And it probably look like it. May need to add more tape here. This is fine. Okay, so we have our belly band there. Let's add our pocket. I'm trying to make some easy, shorter projects because usually my project have more than one tutorial. One, you know, as you know me, you will see that there's a bunch of tutorial that have um part one, part two, some even have part three, but it's because I'm repurposing or um, re um, contracting a base that is not even, you know, from scratch. So some project will take longer than others. And I usually cut everything in front of you and all that, but I'm trying to shorter my videos just a little bit because, you know, not everybody has time to be, um, following long tutorials. So let's see, let's see. So I wanna keep this and this and then here, probably just, yeah, so probably this is gonna go there or Yeah, so these two, these three pieces I'm gonna put here. So let's do this flap. So I think, I'm gonna use this one here, and then this one in the back. Or let me see, cause this go with this pocket. Let me see what I like. No, I like this one better. So this one is gonna go, down here and then this one is gonna go in the back so when this is closed this will go with this and when this is open this will go with this that's the way we're gonna go that's the way we're gonna roll just clean my glue a little bit
making sure that my gap is here so I can open and close my, well, close it better. And let me just trim this a little bit here. It's not that much. so little that it's hard to cut this at least for my hands let's cut this little piece of tape okay to this flap here. I have a question for you guys. If you do tutorial, how you come up with some of the names? Because I am, sometimes I run out of ideas for names, how to call my projects. And sometimes I don't want to use the names that, you know, is, they're being used, but it's hard to come up with names for your projects. So if you do tutorial, tell me, tell me how you come up with new names. Leave a comment below. That will really help me. Because <laughs> sometimes I don't even know how to call my project. Stress here around that. Okay, so this is we're gonna do this and the back. Uh, let me add. Okay, I think I want the pocket for this here. So these two are going to have belly bands. Trying to see what I like better if I like it here. I think I'm going to use this one here. Or what do you think I'll use it here? But this one I... I think I like this one here. So let's do this one outside and the black inside. It's kind of busy, but I like it better. Wait, because I was thinking that maybe I can do a side pocket. like here so i'm just gonna add more tape to the bottom it just came to me that i already had two belly bands and i don't think that i want three so this is the one ish one eighth of an inch that's like twist tongue twister for me but this is a one eighth of an inch double-sided tape i think this is the heavy duty and i got this one uh hobby lobby i also had the regular one on this side and i found this side a uh, hobby lobby let me show you the other one right here it's the white regular one
today is Sunday. I went to church. I don't know if you're going to be watching this video on Sunday or Monday because I don't know why. But when I try to um, upload my videos, are they, they're taking longer than before. So sometimes I just leave them overnight. Depending on what time I you know finish recording but it's been hard to upload videos on youtube they're taking longer than you know before okay so we have a pocket here and then we're gonna have the belly van here so i hope that your sunday is going great that you're having fun Maybe with your kids, with your family. Today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day for those guys that I subscribe to my channel. I hope that you have enjoyed your day. I don't know what I did. All my belly bands have been longer <laughs> than my paper. But, you know, we can trim it, not a big deal. Okay, so our inside is ready. We're gonna work on the outside now. We're gonna start from left to right. Not that it's matter, but we're gonna do it that way. I want to thank you everyone that has subscribed to my channel that you know you're supporting my journey and you're leaving beautiful comments and you know i really enjoy reading your comments and replying back and i love all of you guys and i really thank you for your support um and for all your comments. I really enjoy reading all your comments and I can thank you enough for all your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I have made new friends and new people, you know, um, during my journey, my new journey. I only been doing tutorials, I think for two months now. I think I started on april so i've been doing tutorial for two months now okay so this is the piece for here so thank you thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i'm trying to reach the 300 subscribers right now i think i add 272 or 273 i'm not sure but i think it's 272 um so thank you so much for your support okay, and this is gonna go here look how pretty i really love this paper Cannot say it enough. So I'm gonna. I'm checking on my computer. I had 272 subscribers right now. So I'm trying to reach um, 300 subscribers by the end of June. I don't know if I will reach it, but I think everything is possible. So share my videos with your friends, with your crafty friends. Tell your friends to support my journey if you haven't. Recommend my channel. I will really appreciate it. Make sure 
as close as I can make sure that this is in the right place. broken here so let me now it's good now just need to trim it just a little bit before I trim it let me make sure that this is right move it quick before my glue Fries. I think I just distressing the white there. Look, it's done. Look how pretty. So I was thinking I had this trim here. This is from Hobby Lobby too. There's they have like three um, packages of with trims, and it bring like different colors, and it bring two of each of the trims. So I was thinking to add trim here, and then not here because I have a pocket here. Maybe, so let me see if I want it to go on the top. Maybe I will do the top and the bottom. Yes, I think I'm gonna do that. If I want to go around, yeah, I may just go around like that without cutting my trim. This color go perfectly with this paper pad. It's like a light pink. same thing at the bottom I may even on um, just on the front may do this because I like it. May even frame this. Just gonna go for it. I'm not gonna think about it too much because I know me. If I start thinking about it, I will be here all night and we don't want to do that and I'm not gonna throw this piece out I can use this like an attack or something so let's keep it there I don't know if I want to do this here I kind of like it so I'm gonna go for it I'm not gonna think about it let's do it
if you are like me, please don't think about it too much because if no, it's gonna take your project is gonna take longer than necessary. And believe me, I know, I know. Look how pretty it looks so delicate. I don't think. I don't know, this here is throwing me off, but but it's there. I should have done the paper like one whole piece. I wasn't thinking about it. Let me see. I kind of want to do it here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's not think about it. Just here. Just like since I have a pocket there, but that's fine. We still can use the pocket. It's just that it looks so pretty like that. I destroyed my trim right there. Okay. I don't think say no overthinking but you know what let's go for it so you look the same in front and back let's do it just don't like that line there where's my tool something change it you're allowed it's your project so you can do whatever you like and I like this and this little corner here I cut it off a little bit shorter but we're gonna fix it right now with the little piece that I say I was gonna use for a tag. Perfect, perfect. Let's trim that. You know what, I like it better like this. Look how pretty. Let me see something so it looks like cohesive with the back. What do you think? Should I? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do this. I like it. I don't know if you like it, but I like it. It's going to go with it. I really like this tool. I got it at um, Dollar Tree. Oh, I love this. I don't know if I want to add flowers. Let's see. Let me get them out of the package and see. in the bottom look look I love that already <laughs> I 
I like this little one here. Wait, look, we have um, leaves. Let me check. Oh, yes, I love that. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with this. I'm not gonna think about it too much. Let's do this. I don't know you, but I love it. I love it. I really do. Looks so pretty, so delicate. So I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to use any other flowers. So let's put this away. I got this flower for other projects, but they were perfect for this one. Let me show you, look how pretty it looks. Okay, so let add, let me, I think I'm gonna glue this down a little. Ugh, I don't wanna use that much glue, but. Let me just hold it in place for a moment while it dry. So this is the front. Let me remove the glue string, the front. Our back. So let's add our pieces. Our tag and a journaling card. I really love how this turned out. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let me hold this for a moment. May need to add more glue. Okay, so here we're gonna add, this one say there are stars in her eyes and flowers in her hair. It's gonna go there. On this side pocket, we're gonna put this. Look, it worked perfect. Our belly band, let's add one of this. You know what? I'm gonna add this one here, this one here. And then in the back, I think, See, do I want the tag here? It's too long, I mean. Wait, 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 we need to do a change here. Let's use this one here, this one here. This one there. And the tag, so I guess we only have, we want five pockets. So let's do the tag here too, but I think I'm gonna shorter this. I want it shorter. Let 
Let's round the corners. Okay, so that's it. We're done with our project. Let me move some things out of the way so we can see it. Let me remove the glue strands. This one here, let me see if I can remove it. Okay, so this is our front. It's a balloon. Look how pretty. I'm so excited about this one. I love the paper. This is the back with our journaling card. I may add something here. Um, I don't think, let me see. I know that there was something, but it, it says sparkle. I don't think that I want, I want to use that. So just gonna leave it like that. But I may add something here later i know oh it's here but um this is blue and flower i don't know if i want this to say sparkle here no but i may add something here about blooming or something i will look for a quote so look how pretty so let's review our inside our tag your our journaling card journaling card another journaling card more journaling card and another journaling card <laughs> so i hope that you have enjoyed i'm sorry is you can see the reflection on my ring on, on the cover but i hope that you have enjoyed this video that you like this project i really love this project the color combination everything the flower so please give me a thumbs up if you have um you know enjoy this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell because um if you hit the notification bell youtube will send you a message you know it will notify you every time that i upload a new tutorial so thank you for watching everyone happy crafting i hope you're having a wonderful day Thank you for watching and visiting my channel. Happy crafting.